What's up, good people? <clears throat> um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> mm. So today is a very, you know, unique, special day in its own way. Um, it is the 20 year anniversary of 9/11, and you know, shit, shit, you. I just find it like you know it's. It's crazy. It's been 20 years since the terrorist attacks. And I always think to myself, where was I when it, when this horrific, horrific event went down? And, um, you know, um, <clears throat> I remember being in either the second or the third grade, you know, at school. And I just happened to like catch on TV that America's being attacked. So I'm like, okay, in my mind, I'm like, well, how would anybody attack us? I didn't know nothing back then. I'm just a little kid. <clears throat> just at school, you know, trying to get through the day. I don't remember exactly what I was doing at school. But I just remember that on the television, shit was going down. So fast forward, you know, all these years later, you know, I... um. I caught wind of what happened. I actually watched a few document documentary videos. Um, and yeah, a lot of lives are lost. And, you know, hopefully um, they're resting in peace as we remember. Um, this morning I caught um, a news story, a very, you know, a very, you know, inspirational, very unique story about a woman who was in a coma after that event. And she made to, she made it out of that coma. It was a two year coma. So um, all the firefighters that were lost that day, all the people, I think you had somebody jump out of a built one of the towers just committed suicide because they knew the time was coming and all the people that were on the two flights and the, that um, hit the towers. And then the third one that crashed into um, the Pentagon. And then let's not forget about the um, this additional plane that was, um, that crashed in um, somewhere in Pennsylvania. I don't remember exact, the exact location, but somewhere in Pennsylvania. But, uh, you know, you you sit back and you think, you know, think about, you know, how all these years, you know, how security changed in airports because of 9-11 and um, how we haven't had a major um, attack on American soil since then because of... Um, tightness we did you know the um the adjustments we did for our homeland security and all these other different measures that we took to prevent anything like that happening again and um even as going through the airport you're going through all these checkpoints and all these um screenings and this and that especially for international travel and um um you know, the average person will think to yourself, man, you're going through a lot of security, but you know, 9-11, anybody could, you know, back then before 2001, <clears throat> they weren't as tight and, you know, beefed up on security as they are now, no matter what airport you in, because of that um, event that happened in New York, DC and Pennsylvania. Um, You know, I was, that's 20 years ago. So that was, I believe I was, um, I was 10 years old when it happened, nine or 10 years old. Man, that was a long time ago. A lot, you know, it was just even remembering, you know, as we remember all those lost, you know, you take the time to, you know, look, you know, look at some of the survivors that tell the story and be like, you know, it's still fresh in their mind. You know, those who lost family members, co-workers, 
um, good friends, and um, <clears throat> it's just, I just think, you know, now, um, like, damn, that's, you know, it's, you know, it's just, um, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful that, you know, every time I take a flight that, um, going through the checkpoints at the, at these airports, I'm grateful that I, I wasn't able, um, to be a part of any, um, future or current, um, traumatic events like, um, pertaining to 9-11 when the planes was hijacked, but, um, <clears throat> I just think now that um we can we continue to remember um nine eleven and those that were lost and those that were deeply affected by the events that happened um uh twenty years man twenty years <laughs> it's it's just man some part of me can't believe it's been that long, you know we still remember. I still, I still remember, you know, um, it's just watching the plane crash into a building and then, um, just then, um, man, it's, it's, it's crazy, but I have extreme gratitude. <clears throat> Got some in my throat, excuse me. I have extreme gratitude because, um, you know, it's, and um, I'm also very thankful. I'm also very thankful, and um, remember, we'll never forget. And for those that are lost, we'll continue to hold <clears throat> those that were um, lost in our hearts as we move forward. We move forward. But yeah. Never forget, y'all. Never forget.